Give it up for Cody for Red. How are y'all doing today? All right, I'll take it. Okay. So I got a buddy of mine. He's really heavy into drugs. Recently, he's been heavy into bath salts. He's got a new girlfriend, and she's really into bath soaps. They're both trying to get clean. You ever see those Title Max commercials? I got my title back with Title Max. They look all happy and accomplished. You know, it's very misleading. I think they should change it. It should be like, have a car already paid for? Want to pay for it again? Come to Title Max. Carpe diem is Latin for you can only put the carpets down today. <laughs> a lot of parents, when their kids are young, they'll sing them lullabies. When I was young, my dad sang me alibis. You didn't rob the gas station, you were at home with me. <laughs> my dad is the reason why I'm racially ambiguous. I'm whatever race you don't want me to be, you know? Around black people, I'm white. Around white people, I'm black. Around Jews, I'm a Muslim. Around Muslims, I'm a Jew. I don't know the Indian experience. I just know whenever I go to a gas station, they ask me which part of India I'm from. <laughs> I mean, but it's not that bad, but in certain situations, it's more apparent, you know, like the airport. Y'all ever been to Hartsville, Jackson? I've been there a couple times. Been searched four times. Never even been on an airplane. <laughs> Shout out to all the guys who pull out after the baby's born. That's my dad. Before he was rich, Mark Cuban was just Cuban Mark. There's a new law being passed down by the Department of Justice where the police can pull you over for not wearing your seatbelt or being Mexican. I know, it's, it's crazy. It's called click it or spick it. No, uh, it's okay. I might be Mexican. I might be Mexican. I can't wait till Enterprise starts delivering weed. They're already green. Enterprise. We'll pick it up. Speaking of green, marijuana is a Schedule One drug, which means you should do it first. Then check the schedule. You got a long day ahead of you. <laughs> California, they're banning the plastic straw. I think that's great. It's a great idea, but I think they should also ban the plastic sex doll. I mean, it'll get more uses, but eventually you're going to throw it away, right? You got, a, you got a whole island of trash, right? Imagine a, a floating island of sex dolls. Imagine a little sea turtle that can't get any bigger because it's stuck in a sex doll's vagina. So my cousin came out of the closet last night, I was like, what are you doing in my house? <laughs> For some strange reason we care about what celebrities think, I don't know why, but we do. Like, I wonder how Caitlyn Jenner feels about immigration. I imagine she's for it, considering the fact she was born abroad. For the longest time, I thought sexist meant sexy, because everybody who called me that was a woman. Let <laughs> me hear a guy say, ooh, check out the body on her. Like, no thanks, I'm not into conjoined twins. <laughs> I can't wait until ISIS is defeated and becomes was was. My dad, he, he always yells at me, because I smoke weed, he's always like, Tony, I read a study the other day that said, permanent use will be, permanent damage will be done to your brain by prolonged use of marijuana. I'm like, I know, Dad, that's the point. What I got right now ain't working. <laughs> a lot of people are afraid of death. I don't know why, if you die, you don't have to succeed. I got a lot of black friends. They always tell me, they say, Tony, you don't know what it's like. You don't know what it's like. I'm like, you're right. I've never had first pick of the white women. Thank y'all very much. Have a good night. <laughs>